Now, I'm going to say something that's going to be a bit provocative. So I, just think about this. If I could put cells there to rejuvenate that, we'd be in great shape. But I think, Oprah, the stem cell debate is dead. And I'll tell you why. We would take stem cells in theory and put it through a trocar like this yeah. and inject it into the brain from the right spot and would come up and poke its head in there and we'd be able to put cells in there to replace that. Really? And that's what the hope was. The problem with, st with embryonic stem cells is that embryonic stem cells come from embryos, yeah. like all of us were made from embryos, and those cells can become any cell in the body, but it's very hard to control them, and so they can become cancer. But in the time of all this fighting we've had, which did slow down, I think, a lot of this research, there have been a huge amount of changes made. And in the last year, we've made a 10 years of advancement. Think in about the last that. year, we've advanced 10 years. Yeah. We, made, we went places we never thought we'd go, and here's what the deal is. I can take a little bit of your skin, take those cells, get them to go back in time so they're like they were when you were first made. And then they will start to make that dopamine. And I think those cells, because they won't be as prone to cancer and because they're your genes, will be the ones that are ultimately used to cure Parkinson's. And no one can tell how fast we can do this, but I've talked to a lot of experts in this field, and I think we're single-digit years away from making a big impact in lives of Parkinson's disease, but also diabetics, heart attack victims. People have had a lot of Single problems. Single digits Single away? digit years. Wow. So in other words, it could be eight, nine years. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. <laughs> but yeah. it's going to be... Another occasion I heard you use the word pitiable. And understand, nobody in, in, in this position wants pity. We don't want pity. I could give a damn about Rush Limbaugh's pity, right? Anyone else's pity. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a victim. I'm someone who's in this situation. I think I'm in this situation along with... Millions of other Americans, whether it's, like I said, for Parkinson's, or Alzheimer's, or, or ALS, or diabetes, or spinal cord injury, or what have you. And we have a right, if there's answers out there, to pursue those answers with the full support of our politicians. And, and so I don't need anyone's permission to do that. The, but the point of it is that the cells that, that we're not using, that are being wasted, hundreds of thousands of cells that are, that are left over from in vitro fertilization, are being thrown away, are being wasted. They're not going to become life. They're not going to become life. They're being thrown away. So in that sense, people say protecting the unborn, but they're, they're going to be destroyed anyway. So let's use those cells to protect the unborn that are going to be born with diabetes, they are going to be born with pre genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or, or, or are going to be injured as children and have spinal cord injury. I mean, we have, that's, a, that's the pro-life position. Because those cells are going to be wasted. That's what people need to understand. Is that, is that, you know, where was the outcry when in vitro fertilization was started 20 years ago? Because it's been going on for 20 years. Hundreds and thousands of these cells have been destroyed every year.